Hey YouTube friends and family, how's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing great today. Today's Labor Day, Monday. I wanted to get on here and just share a few things. First of all, I would like to remind everybody that we have the um, No War Not In My Name uh, videos that have been coming up and everybody's been doing a great job on it. These are so awesome. They really are. We've got classically revamped that's classically revamped with a big T. I'm going to put her link to her channel and to a video that she's done down in the show more. What classically revamped has done for all of us is she has put together a special t-shirt the NWNIMN and that is no war not in my name t-shirt she did a wonderful job on this it is just remarkable personally I want at least three in my home and uh, they're a great way to advertise our opposition to any more involvement in wars with other countries. We personally know if we just look at the track history that many wars are for no good reason at all. We can go back to Iraq, of course we could go all the way back to world wars and find that there was deception and lies that started the wars. But Iraq is a good example. There were no weapons there. No. The weapons were never found because they weren't there. But the whole prerequisite to getting involved and getting in there and, and killing innocent people was because these weapons of mass destruction were hidden. They didn't exist. Libya, Afghanistan, go, go do your homework, friends. Check it out. And this thing with Syria, stay home. Save the billions of dollars. Spend that money on rebuilding our topsoil and helping our farmers so that we can give aid to other countries and to ourselves. Rebuild the cities that have been destroyed like Joplin and, and uh, Louisiana. Do we need to say anything about the Gulf? and many more. Katrina did her fair share of damage and those people are still waiting. Many reasons that we need to mind our own business. Many reasons. Enough war. War has never worked, never will work. Now Classically Revamped has spent to get the first prototype done she spent fifty six dollars and like myself and I'm sure many of you she is just dust poor we don't have the money but you know if each one of us could send her one dollar just one dollar you know or a five dollar bill if we could help her she has these this t-shirt ready to send in to the t-shirt shop to have some made and we'll have the opportunity of getting these t-shirts. It's really exciting. Please go down, check what she's done. You'll see for yourself what a remarkable, talented woman she is. And this t-shirt is awesome, guys. It really is. You know, no wars is the way it reads. No wars not in my name. Go check it out. But she needs our help, guys. She won't ask. She wouldn't ask if her life depended on it. So I'm asking for her. As I said, she spent $56 to do the prototype. She needs help to get these t-shirts made. Can we jump in and help her, guys? If you can, Please send her a PM. Talk to her. See what it is she needs. 
and let's see if as a community we can't jump in and help. The other, and again, her channel and the link to her video is down in the show more, right down below. The other thing that I wanted to cover is Linda Ankeny, Ankeny's channel, put out a video regarding the Lakota children and a case that's taking place in South Dakota. Uh, it's called the Medi Special Report. 740 Lakota children, and this touches my heart because my grandmother was Lakota. She was of the Lakota Nation. Anyway, 740 Lakota children are removed from their homes and tribes every year by South Dakota's Department of Social Services. 90% of them are placed in non-native homes with non-native families. They're in foster care. In the Medi case, children were placed in a foster situation where they were sexually abused. The person that sexually abused them actually pled guilty in court, yet was only charged with one. Then the children were sent right back into the same home. The story is disgusting. It's enough to make any one of us sick. Anybody that is a parent or an aunt or an uncle or a grandmother or grandfather, you know how important these children are. The Lakota Nation has called out to the American people. They're calling out to us for help. I ask that you go down in the link below, click on it, and see for yourself. We need to make a stand on this. It is our jobs to protect the children. It's a saddest story that I have seen. It's absolutely disgusting. And it, in my opinion, is right along beside the stories we heard about the Catholic Church abusing the Native American children and their families in years past. We should have evolved past this, my friends. Please check the link out below and do what you can to help. They're calling out for our help. And remember, this regards precious children. You know, it's a violation of the Indian Child Welfare Act. In every way, it violates that act and destroys the integrity of the Sioux families and their tribes. The other thing I would like to make note of is what good does it do to have laws if we have court systems that do not uphold the laws? There's so many laws on the books now that no one human being, and it would take one heck of a computer system to log every law. There's too many laws, and the ones we've got are not being upheld. So please check it out. The other thing that I would like to discuss real quick is the Pilgrims first set foot on the Americas in a search for religious freedom. They broke away for, from the uh, English and they set up, they landed on Plymouth Rock in search of religious freedom. Massachusetts on September 4th the Massachusetts Supreme Court will be hearing an oral argument on whether the daily uh, the reciting of the Pledge of Allegiance in school violates students rights due to the inclusion of the words under God. Now friends, if we look 
please check this case out. I'll put the link down below. There is a family of five, a mother, a father, and three children. The mother and father do not want their children to have to say the Pledge of Allegiance and use the words under God. Our country, the America, North America, was founded on the very foundation of God in every aspect. Every document that you read involves God. I can remember as a child that we prayed before our day started in school. In the classroom, there was a prayer. And that meant a lot. It really did. But that was taken away from us by an atheist. Now this is an atheist family. One family out of many, I'm sure. But there are many more that believe in God. And we say our blessings around our dinner tables and we say our bedtime prayers. And granted, we don't say prayers in, in school. But there is a Pledge of Allegiance that was scripted with the words under God. One nation under God. One nation of many nations under God. There is a universal creator. Many people refer to him as God. Many people call him the, the great creator, the universal creator, the universal God, our Father in heaven, God Almighty. He's been removed in every application. They're wanting to take him out of everything in America. I'd like to remind each and every one of you that America at one time was a very strong and healthy country. Today not so. Today she's very fragile. Very fragile. How much God can we remove? before the foundation falls apart. Now in our home we've taken our children out of public school. Not for that reason. Not because of God. Although I will say before we start our class here we can say the prayer. We certainly can. But if these people don't want their children saying the prayer they shouldn't have to. If these people don't want their children believing in God, that's up to them. If they are offended by the words under God, they shouldn't have to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Quite frankly, I don't believe we should pledge a flag. Not at all. If we say a pledge to anything, it should be to the Universal Creator and to peace. A pledge of the people for the people under God. So I can't say that I'm offended by the fact that they don't want to say the pledge. They shouldn't have to. I am offended, however, that they're wanting to remove God. Because he belongs there. Look at what's happened in our public schools. Look at what's happened. I can guarantee you that every child that ducked under a desk to prevent themselves by being struck by bullets prayed to God, God help me, please help me God, oh God please. I say we don't remove under God, that's what I say. I also say that these people have the right to homeschool. If you're offended by anything in the public school system, take your children out and homeschool them. Don't expect the rest of the United States or the rest of the world to cow down to your whims or your beliefs or your wants. I don't expect anybody to cow down or change their lifestyle because of mine. That's what freedom is. That's what freedom is. They have the freedom, the freedom of choice. 
The article's down below. Please take time to read it. And God bless us all, each and every one of us, even the non-believers, because quite frankly, friends, we have big biscuits to bake. There's a lot going on right now. And most of it is stuff that's completely out of our control. Nothing we can change. And that's okay. What we can do is prepare. Prepare. Comet Ison, what's it going to do? Is there a Nibiru? Is something headed for Earth? It seems our government believes there is. And by the way, I'm going to put another link down below. In November there will be a drill on the power grid. I guess they're going to shut it all down coast to coast. We get a sample, a taste of how things are going to function without the power grid. Articles down below. Check it out yourself. They're getting ready for something. What is that something? I don't know. We can speculate. Many stories flowing around YouTube. What I do know is prepare just in case. Just to be on the safe side. Shelter, food, water, medicinal needs. at your medicine and medical supplies. Hunting and fishing gear or tools. Calling them tools. Be prepared just in case. And if you got one package of crackers, throw in two. You might have to help your neighbor. That's what we're supposed to do. I love you all. Great big hugs. And if you're feeling a little down, get a jar of jelly beans. I'm telling you, they work. They do. I love you. Catch you guys later.